Okay, the first plugin that I recommend you install on your website is called the All-in-One SEO Pack. So what you're going to do is go down here to Plugins, click Add New, and it will bring up the Install Plugins page. You're going to search for a plugin called the All-in-One SEO Pack. You'll search, and it should be the first one that pops up for for those uh, for that key keyword phrase. And I've already installed it, but what you'll do is you'll click Install Now, and it should you know take you to a page that installs it, and then it'll say Activate. There's going to be a button that tells you to activate it. Then you'll press Activate it, and then you'll be brought back to a page that has all of your plugins right here, and you'll see the all-in-one SEO pack and you will go to options configuration panel okay so once you have the all-in-one SEO pack installed uh, most of the settings we're gonna leave exactly as they are uh, so let's you know the only thing we're gonna do is put the home title um, WordPress video tutorials Home description, how to create a professional website on WordPress. Home keywords, just fill in whatever keywords um, are relevant to your niche. WordPress tutorials, how to blog, how to start a blog, to build a website. Uh, video tutorials okay um, use keywords enable we're gonna leave all this the same uh, don't mess with any of that um, leave all this the same because it's actually optimized really really well right there SEO for cust enable advanced options we're gonna enable the advanced options and we're gonna allow SEO on posts, pages, and media. So you need to click media. Um, we're going to custom post. Yeah, do that on media as well. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Um, you don't need any of that right this second. Uh, Google Analytics. That'll be the next plugin we talk about. So you'll come back here later once you have your Google Analytics ID and put it into there. Um, and then, yeah, that's what we do. We're going to click update options and it just updated your options. Now let's go to posts and go to add new and you'll see that below the post now is a new section called all in one SEO pack. And this simply allows you to change the title and the description and the keywords um, that you want Google to look at when they're looking at your website. So perhaps you have a post title that you know is something you know you still want it to be eye-catching and, and something that people want to read but perhaps it's you know um, how to build a chick chicken coop um, perhaps it's something like that. Maybe you want to kind of expand upon that, but you don't want to expand upon it in the title on the blog. Uh, you just want Google to know that it's more about how to make a chicken coop. So, how to make a chicken coop using three simple tools. Uh, maybe that's something you might want Google to know. Uh, the description, you can just insert you know a custom crafted description about what this blog post is about and you know try to put some of the keywords in it that you're trying to target uh, also keywords some of those same keywords right there you can you know chicken coop um, how to build a chicken coop uh, ideally you want to have three phrases so there's two right there, and then chicken coop tutorial. You can you can start off with three main phrases that you really want to be uh, 
you know, found on Google for and put those phrases in all of your posts, uh, all of your, your keywords and, and description and everything you can. You don't want to spam Google. You don't want to, you know, look like just a bunch of random keywords. You want it to make sense. But once you get ranked in, in these specific uh, phrases and keywords, then you can come back to some of these posts and start adding a couple of more different keywords to, to start getting your rank up for those two. And you don't mess with any of this. And that is the all-in-one SEO pack. Um, that is going to get you some SEO juice in all of your posts. So that's the post. And then you can even go to a, a page. And I'm not going to publish that. But you can even go to a page and you see that you have the exact same all-in-one SEO pack down here. Do the exact same thing. And uh, you can also do that with media. So we're going to add new media, which might be a picture. Um, uh, let's just let's just do this one again. I've done this one several times, but now we can look at the picture. We can say edit. Um, again, we have the all-in-one SEO pack, and this will basically. Um, just allow you to handcraft whatever title and description that you want to be associated with your media that you upload. And that's the all-in-one SEO pack. That's one of the first plugins you're going to need. So install that, um, familiarize yourself with that a little bit. And that is the all-in-one SEO pack. And you can get it by clicking on the link below.